Wow. That's much better than what you usually throw on the table. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Mystery Tech featuring money. Because yes, I actually get to buy my own things this time. Thanks, Ken. The rules are very simple. I have a $200 budget to order things from a little site called Wish. Now the only stipulation is that I have to use this blitz buy thing. So as soon as I hit this button, a 10 minute timer will start. How many items do I get? 20. Okay. All right, I've unlocked 20 products. Let's see what we've got. Well, the first thing is the, what is this, a smartwatch? I mean, that seems reasonable. This actually looks good, right? You need that. Okay, all right. What the, what are these sneakers? Yo. Get some sneakers. Some red fashion sneakers? Yeah, yeah, I'm about that. There's a, an 11 inch 4G network Android large screen tablet for $75. I'm getting a red because why not? Oh God, I've, I've already spent $145. Oh, man, I feel like I've already got everything cool. Well, no, now you're forced to buy things that are not cool. Welcome to Mystery Tech. What if I just cheat and go into the normal wish and look for other stuff that's cool? All right, I'm just gonna cheat. Oh, a four gigabyte free classic games thing? Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Oh, what the, oh, it's a, via, it's a Vita. Oh wait, no, I want this one. Oh, look at Game Boy. Yo, I want a Game Boy. Yeah, 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 hook me up. 14 bucks? Look, you can buy fake money. There's a hundred, hundred dollar bills for a dollar. I mean, let's be real. This stuff all looks basically like hot garbage. Oh, oh, oh he hello. We can get a Huawei uh, SD card, apparently a 256 gig for $3. I don't see how we can go wrong here. Get, get, get like two of those. Oh, that's a corset for a guy. I, I, yo, fake Joy-Cons? Dude, these Joy-Cons are like double the size. I am absolutely buying them. Wait, for Wii U, for Switch, or for Switch Precision Edition? What's a Switch Precision Edition? Ah, I guess we're about to find out, it's $33. There's also a fake Pro Controller, should we do that? Yeah, yes. I mean, it looks kind of like it. So that, my friends, is everything we need from Wish. So uh, I guess now we just have to wait like three months for this stuff to show up and see if it's any good. I don't think it will be though. Three months later. Okay, so it has been a couple months and we finally have all of our wish items as well as a much less full featured facial hair. So let's see what garbage town we have to deal with. It's been so long I've actually forgotten what we ordered at this point. Oh yeah, this stupid thing. Oh, it came with an adapter? Yeah. All right. So this is our Huawei 256 gig micro SD card, which cost like, how much is it? 575. Oh yeah, so less than six bucks. Now. I am incredibly suspicious that this is actually a 256 gig card. It is almost certainly not a Huawei micro SD card either, judging by the generic memory card box. Some of the listed capacity is used for formatting and other functions and is not available for storage. Something tells me that by some is going to be like 240 of those 256 gigs. Now, I believe Linus did a video showing how some of these SD cards that seem to have a lot of capacity are actually fake. And instead, when you start to fill them up, they delete old files. So I'm going to try to transfer a bunch of footage over and see if it actually will work. If I pull up properties, it shows as a 249 gigabyte drive. I mean, that actually would be technically correct. That's strange. Is this actually real? Dude, it's at 65 kilobytes a second right now. I don't think I have the patience for this. <laughs> that had way more bounce than I thought. Oh, it's the stupid fake Joy-Cons. You know that Wish sponsors the Lakers? Literally the only logo on the Lakers jerseys is Wish. I mean, at first glance, you might be forgiven for thinking that these are real Joy-Cons, but they feel like they're like almost twice as big. Yeah. I have a real set of Joy-Cons. So for comparison, this is what a legit Joy-Con looks like. Now it's a roughly the same sort of shape, although on the back you can see that there's a little bit of a ridge, but it's just way bigger, like way bigger. <laughs> the Switch is now just like an inch wider. <laughs> oh, oh it worked. Hey, look at that. It shows up as two actual real Joy-Cons. So if I attach these, it actually will not charge them though. So I can use it as like a normal wired Joy-Con, but it's still actually connected via Bluetooth. So it will drain the battery like this. Yo, dude, this is actually really not that bad. I mean, the buttons don't feel quite as nice and I wish that it actually would charge, but like, I mean, I'm not doing very well here, but. Now I will say one thing, the fact that they have this little lip on the outside, which even though they're bigger, they actually kind of fit better in my hands. The standard Joy-Cons, they're fine, but I kind of feel like I have a little bit of a claw grip sometimes, whereas this feels a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. It still feels cheap, but not bad. Aha, 
So the next part, which is probably a little less weird, is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, or the Pro Controller for N-Switch, because obviously it's not a Nintendo product. I mean, at first glance, this looks exactly like a standard Pro Controller. This looks straight up like they just used the original mold for this. It literally on the back says support.nintendo.com. I think they actually took a legit mold of the real Pro Controller and just removed the word Nintendo here, because that's exactly where Nintendo would be. It says support Germany for Nintendo. I mean, this is just a Pro Controller. The buttons feel the same, the sticks feel the same. Actually, hang on a second. Can I change my smart steering? Okay. Dude, it even has the gyroscope. If you feel a little bit uncomfortable by buying something which is very, very obviously a knockoff, I totally understand what you, why you wouldn't want to get this. But this is, as far as I can tell, straight up a pro controller. Now, maybe it'll break at some point. Maybe there's a train outside that's gonna sort of step on my line, but like, this is legit just a pro controller that someone stripped off the Nintendo badge and is selling it for like half the price. Oh, not the fig money. Okay, does this look real on camera right now? Because this is about the fakest thing I've ever seen. It's mostly just incredibly blurry. Like, it looks like if you printed this yourself on a printer from 1999, that's what it looks like. For uh, fake money, it doesn't say fake money anywhere. There's no like, uh, for prop comedy use only or anything, there's literally just a little bit of Chinese writing on the back and that's it. This actually looks like it's probably illegal. Wait, is this illegal? I think it's illegal. Oh. These things bounce so weirdly, right? All right, we'll just uh, put my fake money out of the way. I will say one thing. This is very, very well packaged. Oh, it's the fake iPad. Excellent. Oh wait, no, it's not an iPad, is it? It kind of looks like one from the front. Actually, well, it looks like one from all angles. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is like not the worst fake iPad I've ever seen. I mean, it kind of got like the little notch here. That actually does seem to be real metal. That screen does not look good though. And this is a, definitely a fake button. That doesn't do anything. I don't know, I think if you like show this to grandma, she'd probably think you have an iPad and not a $52 tablet that's garbage down. It's dead also. I'm not gonna lie. So far, we've actually been doing pretty well. There have definitely been some busts, but things like the Switch controller seems cool. The iPad, if it actually wants to turn on, seems maybe okay. Maybe, maybe. Oh, all right. <laughs> In case you're curious, this is not an actual iPad. <laughs> is that headphone jack on the side? Oh yeah, the headphone jack is on the side. All right, uh, Android 8.1, what? Really? That's actually not that bad. Is this actually gonna be decent? Like, I really did not think this is gonna be good, but like, it actually doesn't seem like the worst thing I've ever tried, especially for 50 bucks. Well, I guess for 50 bucks, you could get like a fire tablet. Whoa, hey, update on this guy. It is now magically jumped up to 19 megabytes per second on the transfer. We actually, is it, is it working or did it just like fail over into the, the fake version where it's deleting my old files? You know, I'm suddenly getting a little bit uncomfortable with the idea that I just plugged a random micro SD card into my computer. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That could have been a really bad idea, actually. I mean, it's a Huawei one, so what's the, <laughs> what's, the what's the harm in that? <laughs> that frame rate is really not good. What's 480p? Come on, man. Is that the best you can do in 480p? That ain't it. So, not great for video. It sounds bad and it runs videos at like 12 frames per second. Uh, maybe just buy a Fire HD 7 or anything else. I bet you can get a used iPad for about this price. Oh yeah, you probably can. Oh, that looks much less terrible. So this is our fake PSP. So there are a lot of these kind of like fake systems around, but I've actually never really tried any of them really. Oh, dude, it's like supposed to be a mini Vita. It even has like all like the little triangles and stuff on the back. Whoa. It's, uh, it's very exciting when you launch it. Wait, is this just a bunch of ROMs? I have Super Mario, Contra, Street Fighter, Crash Bandicoot. Wait, is this thing legit just like an emulator? Yo, dude, it's actually Super Mario. Okay, this emulation's, uh, <laughs> oh my God, dude. It's like a half second delay when I press something. I mean, this is this is legit though. Wait, 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 I, I'm trying to play Mario right now. What are you doing throwing a Game Boy at me? Wait, hold on. I'm joining Mario, man. What? Wait, wait, dude, this is not bad. I mean, it's still weird, but I can't believe this is not hot garbage, man. What? Wait, 
Wait, dude, this is not bad. I mean, it's still weird, but... Oh, wait, what, what buttons do they actually have on the Game Boy? Just A and B, right? <laughs> Stay back. Stay back. <laughs> it's so mushy. Come on! Come on! Yes! Also, I pulled my mic off. <laughs> I want to keep playing with this, but wait, hang on. What's the 401 Game Boy thing? Ooh, you know what? Yo, that's actually not bad. All right, 401. So we have Super Mario. This thing's just loaded with ROMs. It's just loaded with ROMs. What is this? Pikachu. What is that? Wait, what? Wait, is this just, is this Dr. Mario? I mean, it's like Tetris, but wasn't, uh, I never played Dr. Mario, but wasn't it kind of similar to this? Yeah. All right, there's definitely a lot of doubles in here. Like, they're primarily doubles. Why am I small? Do you see this? I'm too, dude, I'm too small to jump. <laughs> How do you mess up Mario, man? What the actual, what the, what is this? What? What? Oh, now you gotta play it. <laughs> I'm, Mario has throwing stars? Also, it runs at like eight frames per second. Yikes. Oh my god, dude, what is this? What is this? Wait, why is my screen flickering? Wait, I think I lost my screen brightness. Can you see that flickering? Yeah. I think I just lost my backlight. We got like five minutes out of Super Mario 14 before it was lost to the sands of time. Look, look, look how bad it is now. My screen's dead. All there's really left to do now is to see if this Sketchballs micro SD card actually worked. So come over to USB drive. I mean, this actually looks like it might have transferred. I just literally copied over Fortnite. 33 gigs. I mean, this works. It definitely works. I don't know if it'll actually fill up and it's kind of slow, but the micro SD card is decent. Um, sadly, the Game Boy had the most promise and died after like three minutes. I mean, who knows? The, the Legend of Mario 14 may never be fully discovered.